Okay. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to build a Sky Dome. <laughs> now, I'm using the smallest grid box in the game to speed this process up, but you can use the bigger ones and this will still work. Alright, first, we need... Grab this. Blocking box. Snap it to the wall like that. Let's make sure we're in the center. And... Okay. Now the trick here, we gotta set the the width, height, and everything for this. Height we're gonna drop all the way to the bottom, down to about one. Width we gotta adjust so that it'll fit. Hopefully, big enough so you can copy it over. For this room, I'm gonna set it to 1300. Good. And for this, I'm just going to max it out to 2048. <clears throat> okay. Now, here's the trick, and this is the part you need to remember. You have to learn how to snap in this game. Here's what that means let's copy this and move it over. Now, if you push the Y button on this, it'll snap it to the right position, and it'll line it up perfectly with the other one. Okay. For PS4, it's going to be the triangle, and of course for PC, it's going to be a different button altogether. And that's how you get that lined up. Make sure you remember where the center point is, so this way you can uh, snap in a place a lot more easily. I'm going to copy this over here. Line up okay? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, go from top to bottom. On the bigger rooms, it won't line up as good as you think it will, so keep that in mind. That lines up okay. Yeah, it works okay. Just the ceiling, okay. Yeah, the one mistake everybody makes is they make the skybox first, <clears throat> or they put the uh, texture on there, and then they build the room out around that, and it makes it a nightmare to set up. So you want to do it this way before you put the texture in. Those are our four walls. Now we're going to make our ceiling. This is the part that's a bit of a nightmare. Okay. That's the center point. We want to start so right about here, I think. Now we'll figure it out. Okay. Now we gotta snap it up there too, by the way. It's not gonna be perfect, so we gotta figure that out. Get in size, drop the height all the way down. Width is gonna be 1300. We're gonna make the depth, the depth 1300 also. So this way it covers a fair part of the uh, map here. If you use one of the bigger domes, it's going to be a different ratio, so keep that in mind. Down to 1300. Okay, how does that line up? That lines up okay. Yeah, I'm cool with that. 
that. Okay. Use that snap function. That'll really line things up a lot easier for you. And that should be the entire room. Okay, so I was going to put a texture on it. Go here. <coughs> let's do a... Uh, what's that orbital one? I like that one. Also looks cool when you look out the uh, the side. So those are the walls. Let's get the ceiling done. And there we go. We have our Sky Dome. Go ahead and put a player in here. map up and you can see what it looks like. There you go, you got a sky dome. see everything really easily. <coughs> now again, remember use that snap function when you're putting it in place. It's the Y button on the Xbox controller, it's the triangle button on the uh, PS4 controller. I don't know what the PC function is, but you can figure it out pretty easily. It says it on the bottom of the screen. <coughs> Just use that, snap it in place, and bingo, you got yourself a Sky Dome. <coughs> and there you go. Yeah, you can do it with the floor too, by the way. I just didn't do it so you guys have, at least have a reference. And that's how you make a sky dome. Real simple. <clears throat> yeah, it's a pain in the neck compared to what we did back in the old days, but hopefully they'll put a mechanic here that fixes that automatically. So, hope you all found this helpful, and you all have a good day.